talk to anybody who ate mammoth. Tried to eat the mammoth meat. You mentioned something yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah what is it, what's it like? Yeah. <laughs> this is the most funny story probably in the mammoth research, but many paleontologists uh, share this story how they tried the mammoth meat. And it was, I mean, they told me it's pretty, it's, it's untested at all. It's very, it, it's very, I mean, actually the mammoth meat has very bad taste. Uh, because of the transformation of fats over the course of time, because of different things, but it's it's still kind of um, a protein, a protein for, for example, animals. And because of the climate change, when the huge uh, mammoth corps are melting, so different animals like Arctic foxes or dogs or some other creature, they they eat up uh, that uh, the, the, uh, those um, corpses all over the tundra. So, so it's still part of the cycle of life. It's in that sense, right. So the mammoth uh, is a part of the circle of life. Yeah. You would imagine that your favorite dog, which is just five years old, for example, can eat the, the mammoth meat, which is I know, four, four or five thousand years old. So then we see like the compression of time. The, mm -hmm. the moments when the time is not that important, the, the linearity of time is not that important. And again, those moments when you feed up your lovely dog with the meat, which is five, for example, five centuries or five, I'm sorry, five thousand years old, then you understand like, what does it mean? death and life, what does it mean the dead matter? Or it's still alive, or if, if it's eatable, that's, that's in a strange way alive. And this is part of the circle of life as you, as you 